No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and we are very, very blessed today to have the one and only No Limit Cairo in the building. How you feeling, man? With the real No Limbs. Your camera crew is supposed to whoop for you, right? Yeah, they ain't whooping hard enough. <laughs> yeah, they should have stayed in the confidence. Right, yeah. How you living? What's going on in your life these days? I'm chilling, man. Trying to better myself. Can we uh, push the mic into his face a little bit more, pause? There we go. Um, you're chilling. What are you, what are you doing out this way? It's like my second home. I always have it. What do you do when you're out here, though? I just be getting a vibe. I don't really be doing shit. Just be trying to get out of Chicago for a minute. Right. Well, who do you kick it with when you're, when you're out in California? I kick with bro over there. That's my homie. Who, Remo? No, we had you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Donnie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. You guys got a history. That's kind of crazy, How too. How you know that? Because I remember the Juice World era that he was around and you uh, were around. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. Like, I just got done rewatching the whole 16 shot. I'm like the most classic interview ever. Man, I knew this was coming. Did you know, did you know that that was going to be as big a deal as it ended up being? Yeah. You did? Because you had never done one before? Had you been having people ask you to uh, do interviews? Yeah, I was, they were steady asking me to like do interviews, but I ain't never wanted to do one. Because I always used to tell them, like, y'all got to pay me for this. Right. And I don't like really be like, on no, I don't like be like, on no blog and shit, or like doing reactions to like. So it'd be already want to hear me talk, but I don't like, I never really talked to no camera. No. That, so right, I knew my gonna be looking for that. That interview was wild because it's like a window into the mind of a a Chicago dude who didn't want to be a rapper or didn't necessarily like want the fame. Obviously, trying to better your life and everything, but it's like when you read the comments, you can really see the people reacting to it and just like couldn't believe how real that was. Yeah, I don't like. I don't really be knowing what to think about that. I be getting like two. I be like, he like even when I put out vlogs and shit, I don't really pay attention to that. So like when that interview came out, I probably like watched the comments like two times, and it was like some sad. It was like good, good reaction and bad reaction to that. Like the bad reaction was like, oh yeah, you you cloud chasing, oh you fucked up and. And you just hating, and why you doing this, and shit like that, then. It was other like, oh, yeah, he should be doing that type of shit, this ain't doing right, but I don't, don't nobody really know what's going on, like, with that whole situation, but me and my homies, the public gonna think what they want to think. I don't really get no what they thought. But there's a couple of moments where it's, like, kind of just astounding how real it was. Like, there's a moment where you're just, like, talking about bailing your homie out or something, you're like, we all we got. And that's, that's kind of like a normal thing to say, but it just hit different and just felt super f real. Like, it is, though, like, like, being in the hood, we is all we got, though. Like, certain is like, see they homies more than they family type. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to just, like, base all this shit off of, you know, like him. Mm -hmm. But I'm just speaking, like, in general, like, this shit got nothing to do with him. I'm saying, like, this has this in the streets, on every hood, every block, every city, like they done did so much together that they all they got type. Of. So that's what. Um, that's since it. since the interview came out, you and her y'all talked, got like cool again or what? What's the relationship like now? No nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, so y'all nah, still? Oh nah, hell no. Nah. What about Bibi? I just no. Nah, yeah, I talked to Bibi. That's my cousin. Man. Well, I don't be talking to her though. He probably mad at me. I don't get no. He didn't hit you up once the interview came out to let you know that he was displeased? No. I still love him, bro. I don't really be thinking about that. Like, we ain't got to be cool. I still love him. It ain't got to be. Why Why? Why only her, though? Because at first you said Bibby wasn't doing right either, though. So, like, why pass it over with Bibby and not her? Yeah. That's the most that's, that, that's why I said it's only. It's going to be mainly inside of my Everybody ain't going to understand it unless you, like, in our circle. Yeah, because he talked about how he kind of felt about the Herb situation, but he also said that there was, like, a specific thing that added to it that he wasn't going to specify. 
And if you weren't going to specify it, that leads us to believe that it was very serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I could say this a hundred times, but this it ain't gonna do nothing but do a replay. And my gonna be like, uh, I can't even explain it because somebody gonna like twist this around. Like, gonna do a whole another three sixty, and they gonna be like, oh, he's still talking about this. Shit. Like, even if I say this shit in the realest way, nobody ain't gonna understand. So I don't really like. So it wasn't just the money thing, though? I wasn't shit about no money. That's the whole thing. With me, I don't know. Nah, because you said, uh, I remember you in the interview, you also said like it was like $5,000 that somebody needed on a bond, and her would be like, man, what the f*** you get locked up for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that. So was it money, or it was like some internal? I don't know, bro. Yeah. That s*** just, I, let sh I can't even comment on that because that s*** going to be like, it's not. It ain't no way I could put that. That it's gonna like make it better or worse. Like that's gonna mean. But was it surprising the reaction that it got when like just so many people around the world were just like blown away by it and like you just kind of became like a superstar to them all of a sudden without ever having a rap. I've been like I don't know. Like in my eyes, like I've been like a lot of people I already knew who I was, but it's like my. That like that made my like like want to look like all like one had they on me they was like on some nosy shit. damn who was dude like what he on some hating shit? like what my like like that shit, it just made a lot of was curious on if I was telling the truth or that I needed some money or shit like that like but I was already like I already got a big fan base like it just came naturally. Like before that interview, all that. I got, it'd be more DM me from UK and all over the place, like all overseas and shit that I don't even know how the fuck they even know me. They just DM me though. I need everybody to check out nojumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch. You check out nojumber.com, so make sure you tap in.